Now on Coast TV News. Early voting continues on Delmarva. New numbers just in from the Department of Elections. Milford Marijuana, the latest town to tackle pot, and it's happening in a matter of hours. Dredging progress, a big milestone for the Fenwick Island project. A freeze warning has been activated in our area. I'll tell you where and for how long coming up. This is Coast TV News at 6. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. Welcome to Coast TV News at 6. We begin tonight with new information on the elections here on Delmarva. Happening right now, as of this morning, 72,000 Delawareans have voted early, half of those in Sussex. In two days, over 23,000 people voted early in person. This is Delaware's first year for early voting in person, and polls are open 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. until October 29th, then 7 to 7, October 30th through the 3rd. In Maryland, it's 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. until Halloween. It's important to note your normal polling place is likely not where you can vote early. There's only certain sites that you can do that. And guess what? We have a list of all those polling sites right now. All you have to do is head over to coasttv.com. And a big election case is headed to the Supreme Court. This is after a federal appeals court refused to reinstate a Virginia program to purge non-citizens from voter rolls. 1,600 people had been removed based on indications they might not be citizens. The judge said the purge violated a federal law that blocks systemic voter roll removals 90 days before a federal election. Now, there's been a lot of questions about early voting here in Delaware specifically. Can you vote twice? Is it safe? What do you need? Now, here's the information from the Department of Elections. Delaware law does not require a photo ID to vote. Poll workers will ask you to show proof of ID, but if you don't have it, but you're in the correct polling place or early voting site, the worker will check a poll list. And then the voter must fill out a form called an affirmation of identity. If you've been sent an absentee ballot, but you show up to vote, well, your absentee ballot, that will be canceled. If the ballot was already processed either in absentee or in person elsewhere, the Department of Elections says a poll book will show that and you will be turned away. A new tonight, polls are showing Trump and Harris are neck and neck nationally and in battleground states. Just look at the numbers there on the screen and see it for yourself. In CNBC's quarterly All America Economic Survey, Trump gets support from 48% of registered voters, where Harris gets 46. Starting tomorrow, make sure to tune in to Coast TV for our preview week coverage. We have exclusive candidate interviews focusing on the races that impact us here on Delmarva. Our Decision 2024 preview week kicks off tomorrow. Monday night, the city of Milford is the next coastal town to tackle marijuana. The city is considering an ordinance to amend its zoning code. That's to address the sale, testing and cultivation and production of both medicinal and recreational pot. Monday night, there's a public hearing to talk about the code specifically with those marijuana rules, but also the option to ban or regulate marijuana retail facilities. The city says the ordinance amendment to the zoning code will not address the use of marijuana since that is controlled by Delaware state law. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now outside into Dover. Our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now. Well, we have been continuously talking about just how dry and dealing with the drought conditions, but for tomorrow morning, we're going to make a, a different focus here. We're going to focus on just how cold it's going to be because we previewed that last week and now that's coming into fruition. Our Bay Health camera in Dover, we're at uh, 53 degrees and we'll drop down to 44 as early as 9 o'clock, 42 by 10 o'clock. Temperatures are tanking quickly. I mean, we are in the 50s right now. But let me show you, we're gonna compare to where we were just 24 hours ago. We are 11 degrees colder from Georgetown down to Wallops Island. And earlier this afternoon, the National Weather Service issued a freeze warning in effect. Now with a freeze warning, we're talking about temperatures falling between 28 to 32 degrees for starting at two o'clock in the morning and lasting until about actually at nine o'clock in the morning. It's also in effect for Dorchester, Somerset and Wacomico, but not just there, all the way down to the most southern portion of our viewing area and in addition to that, along the coast, specifically for Lewis, Midway, Shore, North Shores, 
Rehoboth, we have a frost advisory that's also in effect from 2 o'clock till 9 o'clock. So we have a combination of freezing and frost along the entire Del Mar Peninsula, and that's going to be a concern for us. So keep that in mind as we begin to take a look at our expectation. We'll start off in the 30s. We'll eventually you know, simmer our way into the 60s, but it's going to take a while for us to get there. And then, believe it or not, when we take a look at our main forecast, then we're going to go way back up once again, Maddie. Okay, Paul, thank you very much. Heading to Fenwick Island now. New information, the town says the North Channel dredging, it's done. South Channel work is underway now, and it's expected to end in December. Ocean City's fire department grew this weekend. A ribbon cutting was held today for the new Midtown Fire Station on 65th Street. And this week, the Delaware Department of Education, the National Guard, they're teaming up to offer teens a chance to get a GED. Organizers say the Youth Challenge Program is a highly structured military-style approach. It intermixes education with mentorship. Advocates say it's meant for at-risk youth, earning them a GED. And information on this session, it's happening this Monday at 11 at the Georgetown Readiness Center. Tuition, room, and meals, those are all provided. New tonight, more high-earning households are living paycheck to paycheck. The Bank of America released a report that says about a fifth of U.S. households that earn more than $150,000 a year are in that situation. The bank says inflation, pricey mortgages, and big utility bills are stretching family budgets thin, even for higher earners. Heads up people who use the Junction and Breakwater Trail, which I know is a lot of our viewers. Starting on Monday, the trail will be closed on Holland Glade Road. This is to complete sidewalk improvements on the road. The trail is expected to be closed 7 to 10 days. One month has passed since Hurricane Helene caused tens of billions of dollars worth of havoc on several states. As John Lawrence reports, North Carolina, as you probably know, was severely hit. And as those cleanup efforts continue, people there are hoping to return to some sort of normalcy. This flood hit 27. I mean, you can see the flood water mark. Hurricane Helene is long gone, but the aftermath remains. There was some video of an area that I knew intimately in Western North Carolina. And when they sent the video, I didn't know what I was looking at. And it was, it was stunning to me to see this area that I grew up in that I knew that I no longer recognized. On Saturday, Eric Church and nearly a dozen other musical acts held a benefit concert in Charlotte to help the victims of the storm. We got a platform, and if God's going to give us this ability to use that platform to raise money for people who need it, that's, that's the best thing you can do in life. Show officials say all proceeds will go to hurricane relief efforts, including businesses trying to get reestablished. We've done $18,000 of refunds so far. So I'm like taking the money that we've raised for rebuilding the restaurant and just using it to refund the hotel rooms. As for the week ahead, students in Asheville are returning to the classroom with a modified schedule. The focus isn't going to be jumping right back into academics, but really taking time to connect with their friends to get back into a sense of normalcy in a gradual way. And then on Wednesday, we'll be back to our full schedules. I'm John Lawrence reporting. According to the superintendent of Asheville City Schools, none of the schools were damaged in the storm. All have electricity, internet, and running water. Though this is key. The water from the pipes hasn't been deemed potable, so students cannot drink it. Still to come on Coast TV News, Cambridge Roadwork. What's happening there in, guess what, a matter of minutes. And much colder conditions will kick in for Monday morning. I'll pinpoint the latest watch and warning areas coming up. But first, Halloween safety for our littlest family members. Coast TV News will be right back. Seen these attacks? They're not true. The Republican billionaires paying for them know it, and Larry Hogan does too. So why does a group of billionaires from outside Maryland care so much about our Senate race? because they want power, and they know Larry Hogan will give Republicans control of the Senate. They'll pass trillions in new tax breaks for big corporations and the wealthy. But you know who they don't care about? You. 
I'm Angela, also Brooks, and I approve this message. Capture your favorite moments at the Coast TV photo booth. Strike a pose and snap a pic, all for free. View previous pictures and see the next event at coasttv.com under the Features tab. The Coast TV photo booth, sponsored by Baths by Spicer Brothers. Ho, ho, ho! This holiday season, my friends at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center are bringing your favorite Christmas classics to life. Experience the magic of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the musical, relive the joy of a Charlie Brown Christmas live on stage, and enjoy the timeless sounds of a tribute to John Denver's Rocky Mountain Christmas, starring Jim Curry. Tickets are on sale now at ococean.com slash pack. Ho, ho, ho! Ocean City, Maryland, where holiday magic comes to life. The Judy Center Early Learning Hub works with families with children birth to the age of five to ensure that they are ready for school. We partner with members of our community to build a family strong enough to handle even the toughest challenges. By offering a free home education program, playgroups, story times, parent workshops, and monthly events, we enhance your kids' readiness for school. The Judy Center provides your family with the resources necessary to raise a child. The Judy Center, one community, one family. DSM Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. Get the Coast TV First Alert Weather app with live satellite and radar, severe weather alerts, and extended forecast. Download the free Coast TV First Alert Weather app, sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. This is Coast TV News at 6. Halloween is Thursday, and while it's super fun for some, it might not be for your pet. Yeah, the Brandywine Valley SPCA says, Halloween hype may cause stress, so think about putting your pets in a quiet room. Also, be sure to keep candy away from animals and don't automatically dress them up. It's not for all animals and make sure the costume is comfortable and allows your pet to move freely. Delaware environmentalists are meeting this week to update the state's climate action plan. Denrec says the plan is the playbook to reduce emissions and be more eco-friendly. This week at the Cheer Center in Georgetown on Tuesday, people can give their ideas on how Delaware should prepare for and address statewide climate change impacts. All that is happening from 4 to 7 p.m. News tonight, the town of Frankfurt says it has some new sidewalks. This is in front of the Antioch Ami Church. The town says there are even more improvements on the way. Still to come, helping the food bank two times this week that you can volunteer. And we have some cold Canadian air about to pounce on us for Monday morning. I'll show you the areas under watches and warnings when we return. With all the choices of services on Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Delmarva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, and Delmarva Day. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. All right, guys, we're going to Jason's for the game this week. It's going to be dark, musty, and cramped, but we got this. Bring it in. One, two, three. Man, I totally forgot you got a new show home. Yeah, we moved in a few months ago. Wait, where'd everyone go? The snack table is huge! I can't tell if I'm inside or outside. Oh yeah, that's fresh. Get a show home, they said. All of your friends will want to come over to the game, they said. 
the Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Center, along with the Paranormal Piranha, I invite you to celebrate 34 years of fun at this year's Sea Witch Festival. This award-winning event takes place in Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach, and the resort area October 25th through 27th. Join Hilda the Sea Witch Balloon as she makes her way down Rehoboth Avenue during Saturday's costume parade. Bring the kids, your folks, and even the dog. Find more information and a schedule of activities at beach-fun.com. My dad, Mike Ramone, is a different kind of public servant. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, right. But I know from my own experience how much he cares about everyone. He's a great father and grandfather. You can see how much their futures matter to him. And he has the same passion for your kid's future. He's focused on fixing our schools and getting teachers and students the resources they need. What I can promise is he'll be a great governor for all of Delaware. Ride the wave of Delmarva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. The big weather story over the last few, well, the entire month has been just how dry we've been. And now we've got a little wrinkle to add on to that because now we are under a freeze warning. That's right, warning and frost advisory throughout a good portion of uh, Delmarva. I'm going to detail all that in a moment. Our Boardwalk Plaza camera in Ocean, excuse me, in uh, Rehoboth Beach, uh, we're seeing a little bit of an active ocean, but not too badly. Temperatures will fall into the 40s as far as tonight is concerned. Here's a breakdown. We have a freeze warning in effect from 2 a.m. to 9. Temperatures are going to be between 28 and 30. 32 degrees. We also have frost advisors, particularly along the coast, on the beaches, where frost could harm sensitive outdoor vegetation. And we are still in the midst of a drought, 30 days and counting. High pressure and control of our weather and where you see the dark blue, that's where we are concerned about the freezing. So let's get to it. Freeze warning in effect for all of Sussex until 9 o'clock. Also, all of Dorchester, Somerset, Wacomico. That's pretty much anybody that can tune us in. Then we have frost concerns, Chincoteague, that's from 2 a.m. to 9 o'clock. Basically, everything's until 9 o'clock tomorrow. Ocean City, West Ocean City, Fenwick Island, concerned for frost there. And we're concerned about frost in Dewey Beach, Rehoboth Beach, Lewis, and all places in between close to the water. And that's the only difference between a frost and the freezing. We're concerned about freezing as you move farther inland. And this is covering a good portion of the entire mid-Atlantic. High pressure controlling our weather, and so we stay clear. We're in the 50s right now, 50 in Milton and 50 in Ocean Pines, for example. But we're going to nosedive quickly. And we are still dealing with drought. 30 days dry, and the record is 34, and we're still counting. Bone dry pattern continues. We've jumped up to a 21% chance of rain on Tuesday and a 24% chance on Friday, but those are far from what I would call a sure bet because we're in the midst of a severe to moderate drought for just Sussex alone. And as far as the count is concerned, not a drop measurable for the month. We've up to three and a half inches shy for just this month alone. And when you tally that for the whole year, it gets even crazier. Temperatures are going to go wacky as well. After the freeze, then we start stair-stepping all the way up to 80 degrees on Thursday for Halloween. Temperatures are just going to go back and forth crazy. So for tonight, we drop down to 42. Tomorrow, we drop down to 32 in, in uh, Georgetown, 33 in Ellendale, Del Mar, and 34 in Seaford, for example. Then for Tuesday, we're still going to be kind of cool in the 40s. Possibly a frost advisory may be extended, but we start thawing out rather rapidly, actually, after that. To the south, 5.30 in the morning, Newark, Snow Hill, Berlin, 39 degrees inland. And then by Monday afternoon, we recover nicely. Tuesday will be in the 40s, but we will recover nicely. Finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodel Extended Forecast. Remember, we're going to hit the cellar tomorrow morning, and we're going to go all the way to the sky on Thursday. All right, Paul, thank you very much. Heads up to our Cambridge viewers. MDOT is beginning the next phase of work on Route 50 tonight. Starting at 7, crews will resurface the westbound lanes between Bucktown Road and the Chop Tank River Bridge. MDOT says if temperatures fall below 50, as Paul just alluded to, crews will have to switch and work in the day. Still to come on Coast TV News, the future of Sussex Tech, the groundbreaking this week when that will happen.
Prince George's County politician Angela Alsobrooks may live near D.C., but she'd bring tons of baggage. Nearly two decades of illegal tax breaks, $59,000 in back taxes, and thousands in unpaid bills. A sweetheart tax deal. Typical politician. Slumlord Alsobrooks? Records show she was caught operating an illegal rental property. With so much baggage, how can we trust Alsobrooks to represent us? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Swim on over to Solero atop the Henlopen Hotel in Rehoboth Beach for the 2024 Mayor Institute Fundraiser. Come out to the kickoff event Saturday, November 16th at 4 p.m. Enjoy a fun-filled evening, live music, and a wine tasting with celebrity bartenders, hors d'oeuvres, desserts, and both live and silent auctions. The Fundraiser is the premier fundraising event for Mayor Institute and Endangered Marine Mammals and Sea Turtles. For more info and tickets, go to mayorinstitute.org. The hammers are smashing, the glasses are racing, and the fun times await at Bushel Sports Bar and Grill in Lewis. Explore our selection of off-season entrees and mouth-watering signature sandwiches that are sure to satisfy any palate. Relax and enjoy local craft brews and specialty cocktails watching your favorite sports team, or compete with your friends at some eight ball, and indulge yourself with year-round all-you-can-eat crabs served by the bucketful and seasoned to perfection. For good vibes with a friendly atmosphere, visit Bushel's on Coastal Highway today. Hi y'all, it's April from Coast Country, and every Tuesday I get the honor of highlighting an amazing teacher right here on Delmarvo with Teacher Feature. If you know a teacher who deserves some extra love, those who go above and beyond every day, head to coastcountry.com and nominate them today. Then tune in each Tuesday to hear their story. Teacher Feature right here every Tuesday at 11 on Coast Country 1039 and 1063. Sponsored by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning and Vernon Powell Shoes. Show a hard-working woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a co-worker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. This week, Sussex Tech is welcoming the community to its groundbreaking for its new building. You can see plans on your screen for that remodel. A ceremony will be held October 29th at 4 p.m., rain or shine. The Food Bank of Delaware is calling for volunteers to support its Healthy Pantry Center in Milford. There are open houses scheduled for this week. That's where attendees will get a behind-the-scenes look, learn about various volunteer roles, and hear inspiring stories about the impact of their contributions. Those open houses will be held on Wednesday, October 30th, and Thursday, October 31st. Still to come on Coast TV News, trending Halloween costumes. We'll show you the top three costumes you can expect to see when Coast TV News returns. In Washington, they talk, but in Delaware, Sarah delivers. Sarah McBride helped raise the minimum wage. She got paid leave for workers. She got Democrats and Republicans to work together. We're all in for Sarah. Carpenters. Carpenters. Bus drivers. Nurses. She metal workers. Sarah sees us. And she respects us. I'm Sarah McBride. I approve this message because anyone who works hard should be able to make ends meet. That's why I'm running for Congress. Shop, play, learn, explore at the OC RV and Van Lifestyle Show, the premier gathering for RV enthusiasts and outdoor lovers. From October 31st to November 3rd, the Ocean City Convention Center transforms into a hub of excitement and exploration. With RVs, custom vans, e-bike, golf cart, and boat test ride zones, seminars, water sports, power sports, and a wide selection of the latest gear, you'll find everything you need to enhance your next adventure. Enjoy BMX and skateboarding competitions, tiki boat cruises, and more. Buy tickets and explore with us at OCRVshow.com. Next wheel. Hi, you teach music. They thought argumentative essays were boring, so I did put together a bunch of raps for them. <laughs> Explain, example, elaborate. Oh, I think I've learned a lesson right here tonight. <laughs> Monday at 7 on Coast TV. Next Jeopardy, bite into a game that's hot off the grill. All the clues about hot dogs? All of the clues were about hot dogs. Two of these players are cooked. Only one can be the wiener. Pretty amazing. Next Jeopardy. Monday at 7.30 on Coast TV. Welcome to St. Dennis Medical. We help our patients and each other. Let's get out there and heal some people! 
You know, it's not always glamorous. Oh, wrong side. Got myself. I feel like I need to go to the hospital. But every now and then a moment comes along where you truly change someone's life. Zap! No more cirrhosis. Zap! No more cancer. Wait, I have cancer? No, we're just kidding, man. You good. NBC St. Dennis Medical, November 12th. Set your DVR now. Welcome to the final score right here on the Del Marva Sports Network. Watch Del Marva's only live and local sports cast. Final score on DSN. What a win. So glad we were able to capture it on DSN. Five days a week, the final score is bringing you live coverage of local sports teams and games. And Kobe Annals goes for the one hand jam and helps his team to the big victory. The final score, weeknights at 10.30 p.m., only on Delmarva Sports Network. Google is out with this year's most trending Halloween costumes. This is according to online search data. The top 25 costume ideas include, we'll do top three, Shrunken Head Bob and Dolores from Beetlejuice, Ray Gunn, the Australian breakdancer. Remember her? I Just Google it, okay? Catnap, that's a character and apparently is a video game, not an actual catnap. Other characters from the TV and movies and singer Sabrina Carpenter, they were popular. That list is based on comparisons of year-on-year -year search data from September. Tonight, join Coast TV News for Sunday Night Football. The Cowboys take on the 49ers. Coverage on Coast TV begins at 7. And please stay with us for your hyper-local news afterwards. We'll be right back. As a math teacher, Matt Meyer knows that Delaware's tax system isn't adding up, so he has a plan to fix it. Give middle-class families a tax cut, invest in schools, and lower costs. But Mike Ramone's plan gives tax breaks to the ultra-rich, which could cut education by nearly $175 million. Matt Meyer knows these numbers don't add up. He'll make state taxes fair so families can get ahead. Vote Matt Meyer for governor. DSN Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. A wet crawl space is a lurking hazard, inviting mold, rot, and structural worries. The answer is Brazier's Crawl Space Encapsulation. Our specialist tailors the solution to your exact crawl space. Our expert team cleans and upgrades your crawl space into a pristine, protected environment. And we only use April Air dehumidifiers, reliable and robust, complete with a five-year warranty. Take the first step to a drier, safer home. Call Brazier's or visit our website. Your peace of mind is just one call away. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It's time to huddle up and talk football. We're talking touchdowns, tackles, and everything in between. From game-changing plays to the latest news around the league. We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. Sponsored by Tyndall's Casual Furniture. Scoops and scores and Friday Night Lights. Football coverage like you've never seen before. Live games of the night every Friday night with the pre, half, and post game shows. Plus, we'll take you around Delmarva for the latest real time scores during Friday Night Lights. Tune in to the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app every Friday night this fall season. Scoops and scores and Friday Night Lights only on DSN and the DSN app. Welcome to St. Dennis Medical. We help our patients and each other. Let's get out there and heal some people! You know, it's not always glamorous. Oh, wrong side. Got myself. I feel like I need to go to the hospital. But every now and then a moment comes along where you truly change someone's life. Zap! No more cirrhosis. Zap! No more cancer. Wait, I have cancer? No, we're just kidding, man. You good. NBC St. Dennis Medical, November 12th. Set your DVR now. 
Still searching for any kind of rain. We stay on the drought pattern. Clear skies for tonight, courtesy of our Hershey's exterior camera. But we do have active freeze warning in effect for our immediate area. Temperatures will drop between 28 to 32. Keep up with your forecast with our weather line. And here's a look at your exclusive 10 day forecast. All right, Paul, thank you. And thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, you can download our Coast TV News app and join us tonight after Sunday Night Football. Until then, have a great night.